Hello everyone, this is Crystal Puttoff of Prayerful Arts, and I want to show you this is the pattern that we did at our Pisanki class on March 21st, 2023. Um, we were doing this cross and then some type of border. So it it could be a border like, like this. Uh, here was another sample of a border, and here was another one. And I, um, I also brought my very favorite book on borders by Gail Lamdga. Lamd I never, I'm sorry, Gail. Um, but uh, Ukrainian Pisanki Sideband Designs. It's a fabulous book. Um, I think you get it on Blurb. Anyway, but it's, it's a great book, and it has lots of inspiration to use for side patterns. So what I'm going to do, uh, like I said, this was kind of what we did in the class. I'm going to do this type of pattern on this egg. This is a peahen egg. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than a chicken egg, a little more pointed at the top, but I think with this design we'll be okay because the border is going to come out here. Um, it'll be a little differently shaped at the top. And they have this beautiful color. They're kind of a, so here's a white chicken egg and then here's this egg. So you see it has this beautiful color. So as I do this, I'm going to try and um, bring out the colors of the peahen egg. So I'm probably going to do some more earth tone colors. Uh, I'll you know, have a lot of these lines that won't be uh, white. They'll be this light tan color. And then actually when you rinse off, it's, it's a little spotted. I don't know if you can see that or not. That will come off and it will be more of a white color underneath. Um, at least the other, I've only done one and that's what it did. So, you know, if it's not white, that's okay too. But I will be trying to remove the spots just so I get even color. Because often when you have an egg like this with some, let me see if I can adjust that light. Um, it's not showing up real well on the camera, but there's like some spotting on there. Not as much as a turkey egg, but there's some. And then when what happens when you dye it? is those spots become more pronounced. And, and I don't really want that for this particular one. It would be pretty with a design like that. So anyway, so I'm going to, in this video, I'm gonna show you my progress on this one. So let's start waxing lines. Okay, I'm back. Um, these are my kind of samples. This is the peahen egg. Um, I've changed up a, a little bit the color scheme wise um, and a little bit uh, in the border I added a little more detail or in this little I like kind of it looks a little more lacy like next step I am going to put this in cleaning vinegar I'm not exactly sure how long it will take it is plugged with wax <clears throat> I tend to do that when I know I'm going to be putting it in like an etching solution or if I'm going to be washing it this is my preference because when you use the plug sometimes I worry I'm gonna bump it and I you know I know people that use the plug all the time hey that works for them that's that's great I'm I can, maybe I'm not careful enough anyway so I'll put it in the etching solution and we'll be back with uh, how that turned out all right Etching is complete. Um, here's where we're at. You don't notice the spots. I don't know how visible they were either beforehand, but I could see them here. Um, and so I, I compared it. I etched it for three minutes in cleaning vinegar. Um, I put enough vinegar in the bottom of like a, it was like a cottage cheese container <laughs> um, to cover the egg maybe to about there. And then I just kind of turned it with my hands uh, for three minutes, used a toothbrush and water and washed, you know, scrubbed, lightly scrubbed it. And then I compared it 
to this peahen egg and it was like, no, I think it can go a little bit lighter. So I put it in for another two minutes. So it was in for a total of five minutes and it, it, um, it, it doesn't show up so much on camera, but the, the this egg is, uh, it's a lot lighter than this egg. And the other thing is I noticed when I was putting my lines on, they were kind of coming off. They were rubbing off very easily. So I'm wondering if um, you need to do something like that on a peahen egg, uh, an etching for your dyes to take. These might have a slight coating on them like a rhea or an ostrich. It's definitely not as thick, but there is a little bit of a sheen. I'm really new at using peahen eggs, so uh, I'll just have to play around with it and see what happens. So five minute etch, here's where we're at. I'm gonna let it rest for a bit, and then I'm going to dye it in the mushroom, and I will use the mushroom color to do the wheat, uh, some of the stuff in here, uh, whatever I decide to put in here, and I, I'm, I haven't completely decided yet, but I'm going to have to because that will need wax. Um, and then I'm going to use the color brick. Those are, uh, mushroom is a Pasanki USA color. Brick is a Ukrainian gift shop color. And then I'm going to wash the egg and use teal, which is a new color from the Ukrainian gift shop. It is a beautiful color and those colors go well together here's one um, with the teal and the brick and the mushroom and I really like that combination I was going to do a dark brown for the back but I think I'm going to do black instead because it really um, highlights the the teal color uh, very well Anyway, so that's my plan for right now. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned. All right. Look at this color. That turned out gorgeous. So uh, this is the mushroom, a Pisanki USA color. I'm going to put some wheat in here and uh, some other elements that I haven't quite decided on but I guess I better since the egg is now dyed mushroom but that'll be the next step and then I will dye it brick wash and then the final color I said it was going to be black now I'm thinking brown eh we'll see what happens anyway on to the next step all right current status this is how the egg looks after I have dyed it in the Ukrainian gift shop brick. I did not wash it before I put it in there. So uh, I think this color looks really cool. Um, so I'm going to apply wax on the areas I want to stay brick, wash it, put it in the teal, and then make my final decision on the final color. All right. It's, I'm getting really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Okay. Here's the reveal on the teal color. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Anyway, I like this color. Uh, it was... It washed off using a little bit of the Dawn dish soap, so the brick color that was on there washed off pretty easily. Um, but it was a little, it didn't want to take the teal. Now the first jar of teal I put it in was an, um, an older jar. So I, t I took it out, I gave it a little uh, rinse in the cleansing, cleaning vinegar, and then I put it back in a brand new jar of teal, like just made it a couple days ago jar, and it turned out gorgeous. So I'm gonna wax those parts, and then I have to decide what final color I wanna use. I will make that decision very soon, so I'll be right back.
All right, which color did I use? Did I use brown or did I use black? Okay, I decided to go with brown. That's what I was originally going to do. And when I saw the blue color, I thought the brown would go better with that too, or I should call it the teal color. And that was a Ukrainian gift shop color. This final color is the Nubian brown and it is from Pisanki USA. So let's do the reveal. Here we go. I've unplugged it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. Okay. Let's, uh, I'll finish it. I'll come back with the final egg. And here it is. What do you think? I like it. I love it. I love the colors on it. So there's the cross and the side band. Kind of put in my little chicken feet there. I love it. Here was the chicken egg, so you can see them. They're kind of a little brighter in color. Um, and here I went more of the muted shades. But I think it really helps because of the initial shell not being white, but being that tan color. When you, you know, when you just look at this egg, you don't notice that. But then if you look at it next to a chicken egg, you're like, oh yeah, those initial lines are not white they're a different color and so I think it really looks nice together I am excited about the way it turned out so thank you um, for watching and seeing how this one turned out for the fifth class and final class that I will be doing at St. Michael's in Peoria um, I'm going to the pattern that we're going to do is uh, something I, I've done the pattern a couple times but I don't think I've ever taught it and I am going to do a French Moran egg. And I don't have the egg sitting here next to me, but it's a very beautiful, beautiful dark brown egg that I will be etching it. I have never done one before, so this will be kind of experiment for all of us and see how it turns out. But I love this one. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I have new video coming out. And thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.